Google has created colors that are associated with their various apps and the color that they have decided to use for their new forms is purple. So when you create a new form, all of your new forms start out purple. And when you look at the preview for these forms, I'll show you the preview for this one, you can see that that uh, theme carries on and the background is going to be a purple color and it's going to have um, purple accents and so on and so forth. And you can choose to keep that, it's a great color. However, you may want to change that. So I wanted to show you some options that you have when it comes to the color palette for your form. Um, I spelt palette like, oops, I spelt palette not like they did. There we go, now I got it spelt like they do. So um, let's go ahead and let's look at the color palette. If you look in the upper right hand corner, I have some add-ons, so I have a puzzle piece. Then you'll also see a little paint palette. If you click on that, it allows you to change the color palette of your form. So it starts out just by giving you some default solid colors. So if you want to go with one of these, that is a good choice. I'm going to choose orange so you guys can see what that would look like. So what that's going to do is it's going to change the main theme color and everything's going to be in orange hues. I'm going to show you what it would look like live. Not much different, but you can see that that orange theme carries on. Now, you may not want to stick with just those. You may remember from old forms all those fancy header pictures that they had. So Google does give you a few other options. At the very bottom of that color palette is an image icon. If you click on the image icon, you can open up some themes that they have. So if you look along the left-hand side of that pop-up, you can see some options that they already have for you. And you can search through depending on whatever your needs are. So if you're going to have a form about some sports activities, you might want to choose some of these. You can notice that some of them are actually uh, live things, which is kind of fancy. Um, you can also choose some plain images. When you choose an image like these, it's going to change your entire color palette and you don't really have a lot of choice on what else changes. This is just going to be your header image. So I'm going to choose this bowling one so you can see what that would look like. So it loaded in my bowling image and that comes up at the top and then you'll notice that it did change what the background was as well as what some of those highlighted uh, colors were. When you look at a preview for your form, you'll see your image at the top and again, it chose based on your image that red was the best choice. So it went with red colors associated with that. So you have some, some more options besides solid colors, but you have even more. If you go back to your color palette and you go down to that image icon again, you'll notice that underneath all of the preloaded options, you can choose to look at pictures that you have. So you can upload photos. That means you can upload photos that you have saved on your hard drive. You can also look at your albums in Google Drive and this will go to your album and you can pick some of those that you may have uploaded into Google Photos. So I'm going to find one to put at the top of mine. It's not all images in your drive, it's just images that are associated with your um, albums that you have saved in Google Photos. Um, all right, I'm gonna choose this one. I wanna use that cloud. So once you've selected an image that you wanna use, you can choose which part of the image that it uses for the header. Since it is that long skinny bar at the top, it's not going to be able to adjust such a large picture, so you can choose what you want it to see. It really just depends on your image, and so you have that option. You can move it up and down. And once you're happy with what is selected, you can click the blue select button at the bottom. It's going to load that into your form. Now again, Google uses its algorithms and it says, okay, based on the picture you have at the top, I think gray is what we're going to go with for everything else, which makes sense if you look at what the picture I chose was. So you can see that gray background. And again, when I look at the preview, 
I'm going to see that carry through. It's not going to give you a lot of other options. I know in old Google Forms you got to change a lot more, but this gives it a little bit of a cleaner look and uh, allows you to focus on making sure your form is good. They'll take care of the aesthetic part. So that's how you can change your color palette in Google Forms.